She's Prince William's godmother. She was one of the late Queen's closest confidants and her sole companion as she travelled to Prince Philip's funeral. But now she's making headlines for racist comments she reportedly made towards a women's charity boss. Queen Elizabeth's longest-serving lady-in-waiting, Lady Susan Hussey, has apologised and resigned after repeatedly asking Sister Space CEO Ngozi Fulani where she was really from. Writing on Twitter, Fulani said she told Hussey, Lady, I'm a British national. My parents came here in the 50s, to which the aide reportedly said, I knew we'd get there in the end. You're Caribbean. The exchange ended with Fulani saying, no lady, I'm of African heritage, Caribbean descent and British nationality. This lady came from nowhere, automatically took my hair and moved it so she could see my name badge. And then she demanded to know where I was from. No, really where I was from. No, where I was really from. And no matter how many times I answered her, it wasn't the response she wanted, and it continued for about five or ten minutes. Mandu Reid, leader of the Women's Equality Party, witnessed the conversation during a Buckingham Palace event, championing groups tackling violence against women. She described it as an interrogation that made her feel as though she was trespassing and didn't belong. There was a lot of questioning um, around um, Ngozi's nationality, around where her people come from, around where she's really from. Um, and when every time Ngozi answered those questions, I was born in the UK, I'm British, that wasn't enough. And so the conversation persisted to a point where it actually became really uncomfortable. Lady Hussey was a fixture in the royal household for seven decades, starting her work for the family in the same year that the Queen gave birth to her third child, Prince Andrew. Her job included helping new arrivals like Meghan Markle and Princess Diana adjust to the workings of the royal household. But Christopher Wilson wrote in his book, The Winds Are Not, that Diana had taken a personal dislike to Lady Hussey. The 83-year-old was born into an aristocratic family. The daughter of the 12th Earl Waldgrave and Mary Hermione Countess Waldgrave, her brother William was a Conservative cabinet minister, and her husband, a former chairman of the BBC. She has two children and her daughter Catherine followed in her mother's footsteps and now serves as an official companion to Camilla, the Queen Consort. Camilla has replaced her ladies-in-waiting with so-called Queen's Companions, less formal positions that provide personal support during official and state business. It brought an end to a feature of royal life that goes back to the Middle Ages, with such close personal helpers of a queen usually coming from aristocratic families, and over the centuries, forming a large part of royal life. According to official documents, until the 1960s, people from ethnic minority backgrounds were banned from serving in clerical roles in the royal household. This has since changed, but its legacy remains. The royal racism debate was thrust back into the headlines in March 2021 when the family's first mixed race member, the Duchess of Sussex, said she had suicidal thoughts during her time in the royal family and said that a member of the family had queried her unborn child's skin colour. Hussey's comments couldn't have come at a worse time. The same week that Prince Harry and Meghan are due to be given the Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award for standing up to racism in the royal family. With the royals struggling to convince the world that they're keeping up with the times, this is a setback they may not be able to afford.